what's up you guys what's goody my name is tweety if you are new welcome to my channel girl and if you are a returning subscriber welcome back welcome to the tweety gang so as y'all can see from last vlog i was talking about how i was just gonna be like um natural for a little bit i mean i'm still natural but girl i cut my hair again i was like you know what let me just go ahead and get my hair as even as i can get it and just start from here because yeah so i winded up cutting my hair super super short i didn't do like the best cut on it because baby i was on a time crunch so probably for my baby shower that i'm doing in the next week and a half i'll go back in and like take my time and like cut it but i was trying to like get it cut for my um baby shower that i have today today so y'all i was just trying to hurry up and get myself together like i was on limited time so yeah this wouldn't have been my go-to hairstyle but it's just gonna have to do what it do for like the time being so yeah i'm about to call my stepmom in a minute because the baby shower starts at 11 and it's like 10 50 if i'm not mistaken so yeah i'm just now getting here like at a timely manner the only thing i hate about downtown is like parking girl it'd be so hard to find somewhere to park like that's the only thing that i do not like about parking downtown is just like it is so annoying just trying to like find somewhere to like park it so i don't know <laughs> i found like a parking meter but yeah the baby shower is from like 11 to um one o'clock so 11 to a one it's like three hours three hours or so so i don't know I'm, let me pull up to this one but yeah the baby shower is like three hours so i'm parked by this parking meter and i'm about to like pay so i can like walk in because if i'm not mistaken i think i'm li literally parked right in front of the courthouse i just need to like pay and then call my stepmom or whatever and then i need to fix my shoes so let me get off camera because yeah like this morning was hectic just trying to get myself together so anyways y'all i would talk to y'all probably like later on i just wanted to like get on here and show my face but i'll talk to y'all later on so yeah Thank y'all. Yeah, when you chop that baby, you. Hopefully, I can snap back. You will. You will. So, so pretty. pretty. And when I tell you, she enjoyed every bit of it. Got the duck on the. You ready? I got the yeah. duck on the duck. Are you recording? Yeah. Okay. So, I can just so have some footage. She's recording. Oh, no, y'all. Oh, y'all yeah, be told. Yeah, I was going to say. Yeah. Hello, sweet baby. That's what you got. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
and a hooded towel. I thought it was a tea then. I don't know. Is it? It's a pacifier holder. Oh, it's a pacifier holder. Oh, yeah. I don't know why I thought that was like a tea. Oh, okay. Gotcha. That's nice. Thank you. 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 That's what I was saying. The chicken take like this. You have to stand up. That's probably a baby alive. Oh, my God. You need anything from Amazon? No. Hello, Autumn. We want flowers. We want flowers. We want flowers. Hey, you can just stay up. They were awful. I'm not going to have to say anything. Hey, we had a whole lot of smell, you know, like sausage because it was gold. I mean, she was just saying, I don't know. Is there a card on that when you go? Yeah, I was trying to find it. Dumb. She came down. Yeah, she came down. This is from Mike. 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 Okay. Big pink. I'm loving this. I don't know.
back home do not mind my trash can do not mind my room like my whole house is in shambles from this morning <laughs> like girl uh oh did my devil egg melt it kind of looked like that my whole bedroom is really my whole house is in shambles but I just got back to the house, so I'm about to clean up in just a second, y'all. The baby shower turned out so pretty. I don't think I did it any justice by, like, recording, but my stepmom, co-workers did, like, such a good job, and y'all, I had so much stuff. <laughs> I was not expecting that. Like, I got so much stuff. So many diapers. So many wipes. Like, they really came through. And I'm so excited. I'm waiting on my boyfriend to get home because I am not about to um <coughs> unload that car. No, ma'am. Like I said, I already got to clean up this house because, yeah, it's a wreck. I thought I was going to get home a little bit early. It's like 3 going on 4 o'clock, but I thought I was going to get home right around 2 o'clock, but it is what it is. But, yeah, y'all see my hair? <laughs> it's so cute. I love, I love some short hair on me. Like, I love, love short hair on me. But, um, yeah. It's a little bit, tad bit too short for my liking. I wish I would have just, like, kept it right here. But the way my hair was, like, angled in the front, like, y'all, I had to, like, cut myself some bangs. Because the way my hair was, like, angled in the front, it was so uneven. Like, it was so uneven. So, yeah, this is kind of, like, what I'm working with. And, you know. Yeah, but let me get off camera, y'all. I just need, like, a second to just get some stuff out the car. I got to get the cake out the car that they bought for me. I just stepped inside for, like, a quick second to change my clothes. Everybody kept saying how small I was. <laughs> they was like, oh, my God, you just all belly, like... I mean, I don't know how much gain, I mean, how much gain, how much weight you realistically supposed to gain, like, during pregnancy, but I, y'all remember when I lost a good amount of weight last year, and then this year, I wound up gaining some of that weight back, but by the time, it's like, I kind of plateaued, so I got down to 128 and then I started picking up on weight and then my weight stayed at like 138. It stayed at 138 once when I went back to like eating how I just normally ate. Like my weight went back to like 138 and that's where it stayed at. And then um, once when I got pregnant, it's almost like I just put back on the weight that I lost because um when I lost that weight last year I was almost at 150 and then I lost that weight and gained it back and I got to like 138 and then when I got pregnant I just gained back the weight that I lost 
so um plus a little bit more because i'm like right at 157 like i've been between like 155 157 and that's kind of where i just stayed at so i know you're supposed to gain right around 20 to 25 pounds so i mean i don't know they just saying like even my belly is like extremely small <laughs> but i'm only i just turned um i just turned eight months so i still got two more months left to like gain weight and then my belly you know pop out even more so yeah but they was like oh my god <laughs> you carrying so you just all barely like <laughs> literally but anyways y'all let me get off camera because i don't want that cake to sit in the car too long like i said i just came up in here for like a quick second to get out like my um baby shower clothes like i needed to get comfortable so yeah y'all i will talk to y'all probably tomorrow because It was about five minutes ago When I seen the hottest chick that a young and never seen before I say yo, tell the girls I wanna meet up On second time that ain't the way to go I gotta give a game proper Spit it so she get it, there she is, I gotta stop her Or should I talk about a smile? Or what about a smile? I'm out of time, she's out the door, I gotta go for a ride Or should I talk about a smile? What about us now? I'm out of time. She's out the door. I gotta go for mine. Cause I don't see you. days later i'm not gonna lie i have been trying to like vlog but every single time i vlog something just was not like hitting the way it was supposed to hit so every single time i thought that i had like some footage yeah i didn't have footage for real so yeah hopefully we can get some footage today i've been trying to find like different hairstyles to do with my hair since my hair is like so 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 short i know for my baby shower i'm gonna wind up just like evening out the cut because my cut is so uneven if y'all of course watch the beginning then y'all would know why but yeah even um when i cut it and like get it the way that i want to i'm just trying to find like other little cutesy hairstyles that i can do so i kind of did like this half up half down hopefully it looks you know somewhat okay but today i was supposed to get up and go to walmart girl i laid in the bed <laughs> my mornings have been so slow like i get up right around 8 30 9 o'clock and then get my day started and i last year i was like a 6 30 7 o'clock girly and i'm trying to be hard on myself because i'm pregnant like 
<sighs> this baby just won't it won't she won't let me do nothing autumn will not let me do nothing like i have a limited time to like get stuff done each day and then i have to pay for the consequences when i try to push myself to go a little bit harder and like get stuff done around the house like nesting and stuff like that i wind up paying for it and i don't just pay for it for a day i pay for it for a couple of days like a couple of days your girl be just like ugh. so yeah it's needless to say i'm so ready for my baby to get here y'all i'm I, I'm over it. I, I honestly let me not complain too much because my third trimester, realistically, it really haven't been that bad. Outside of me just being like tired and stuff, like my my third trimester, it really haven't been like that bad. I feel like the worst trimester was the first one, but honestly, it haven't been that bad. I just feel like I'm just. I'm just over being pregnant at this point. Like, so let me show y'all what we done did. Let me show y'all. Okay, so this is the guest room. Like I was saying, we got to paint up in here. Carpet stuff needs to be shampoo, all that good stuff. But, but we haven't even gotten started on this room, but we got like the playpen and stuff over here because yeah, I did not notice how big this thing was. So we got the playpen over here and I need to disinfect it. And then this is her little, this is her substitution for a bassinet. So we can put this on our bed and have her like safely co-sleep in the bed with us. So this is like a substitution just in case we don't get a bassinet. My boyfriend put her rocking chair together um on Monday and it's it's okay. The seat part isn't like, it's not uncomfortable, but it's not like the most comfortable. But the back part, like where the back is at, that's like super, super comfortable. I put together her little swing. The only thing that I need to do is like get some batteries for her swing. So I did that over the weekend. I need to disinfect that rocking chair, but I got her swing and stuff disinfected. All right, so this is the baby's room. Yes, we still got this bench press in here. I don't know. I don't know when my boyfriend is going to move like this bench press or just get it sold. But yeah, for whatever reason, the bench press is still up in here. So I put all of her um, sheetings. I need to fold these up. Like all of this is just clean. I don't know why I just got it like sitting right here. But all of her sheets, blankets need to be folded up and put in the closet. Um, I need to get this wiped down. This is her baby bath stuff, her brush, passy, like um pacifier holder. This just needs to be sterilized. Like this stuff just needs to be sterilized. Just in case we don't get like a baby bedside. I made her like a little DIY baby caddy. So I can either put on the dresser or I can put like on our little nightstand. But yeah, um, it's got all of her wipes, newborn pampers to start off with. I got some breastfeeding ba bags up in there. I'm going to put some bottles, my breast pumps, um, probably like maybe one or two onesies up in here and a couple of birth cloth, burp cloths. And I can have that like on the side of my bed so I'm not in and out at nighttime just trying to get everything and this needs to be sanitized as well so yeah after i get that sanitized then i'll like wipe down the bed and stuff and put her sheeting put her sheets and stuff on there and then the dresser is kind of cluttered right now i'm gonna wind up moving some of this decor because i don't want too much going on like this cross I got to pray over her room and stuff. Really pray over the whole house, but, you know, pray over her room. I just feel like it's too much going on right here. But, yeah. um, I got a couple of more clothes that came in off the registry list, but it just needs to be washed. So, I put it in her hamper. And then, in this drawer, I got all of her wands. Because all her newborn diapers, they're just going to stay up in the caddy because... She going to grow out of them newborn diapers super, super fast. So, this drawer is stocked up with all her wands and um her wipes. This drawer has... I got, like, a bunch of wash stuff, which I was kind of surprised. But this drawer has, like, all of her 
towels, burp cloths, washcloths, um, swaddles. She got a little pillow. Like, they got all of that up in there. This drawer has all of her onesies because she's going to have more onesies than anything else. So, all of her onesies is up in here. It's pretty much one zero to three months and then three to six months and then up in here has her socks bibs um mittens it has sleepers up in here and then um pants so yeah and then up in the closet i put all of her wipes at the top not all her wipes all her diapers are at the top because i can just pull it down and then put some in the drawer in a diaper caddy as well it's just going to be easier access so i can like use the bottom drawer for like other stuff so all of her wipes and stuff that i got from like the baby shower put over here these breast bags and stuff are nine times out of ten gonna go up in the diaper caddy as well these breast pumps will always be in the diaper caddy and these are like where the rest of her sheets and blankets and stuff will go. So, yeah. So, as y'all can see, like everything is pretty much not, it's not organized up in here. But everything is pretty much put into place. So, when a second baby shower come around, come around and like I said, we get the room painted and then the carpet shampoo is not that much. Like, we got to just physically sit there and do because yeah everything is pretty much like set up for real for real so yeah hey y'all i thought i was not gonna get back on camera what the hell let me straighten out my looks because i'm looking hella crazy i was trying to put on like some say yeah i was trying to put on like some it's not even lip tint it's not necessarily lipstick either I don't know what it is. It's from like Benefit when I used to work there. It's like a moisturizing like lipstick. I guess is what I'm trying to say. Um, Yeah, I had to put that on so I can have like a little bit of color on my lips. But I don't know how I like it because when I ate my, um, my little breakfast sandwich not too long ago, I had rubbed off my lip liner and my, um my other lipstick that i had on so i just tried to put this on because that's the only thing i had in my bag but anyways y'all i got on here and girl when i tell y'all our, our girl it's still up i want to move out of my hometown so bad uh, at first it was just like oh let me say this <clears throat> first thing first i'm content with where i'm at I'm content with my house. I love my house. L like, love my house. But I feel like if I can go back in time, if I can realistically go back in time and do it all over again, realistically, I would have still been a homeowner because that's a big, that's an asset. You know what I'm saying? I just wish that I would have bought purchased a home in another state <laughs> i feel like that was my biggest regret just becoming like a homeowner is just not going with my first mind not going with like my first gut and just moving to another state and it's really for multiple reasons it's not even just because I feel like I would have thrived more in my career as a cosmetologist. I really feel like I would have been able to put my license into like full effect have I moved to another state that where cosmetologists actually thrive in, estheticians actually thrive in, the beauty field actually thrive in. You get what I'm saying? It's like I live in a, I think I said that in one of my other videos, like I live in a medical state, a medical state, like a medical city. If you're not doing anything medically and realistically, all we really have to pick from is nursing. It's like if you're not going to school for nursing, it's real like 
I, girl, it's just so, like, I be getting so flustered and frustrated because, yeah, like, it's, I'm telling y'all, like, it's just so frustrating being in Mobile, like, oh my, <laughs> that's, like, the most frustrating thing, like, we don't have a lot to pick from. It's nothing to realistically pick from, from, like, careers, unless you are going to school to become a nurse or you're doing something I, is it blue collar jobs red collar girl i don't know blue collar jobs i'm pretty sure that's what that is when you truck drive weld um what else electrician like if you're doing something like that yeah the money is there um in those type of fields um like i said anything that's requiring pertaining to nursing yeah yes like yes you gonna make some money like yes you can thrive in this type of city i don't know i feel like that part just always just frustrate me because yeah a lot of stuff that i'm dealing with now like realistically i would not be genuinely just dealing with so i keep telling myself like i don't know y'all i'm just really like i said i'm content with where i'm at but i think from 2025 to maybe 2026 i don't know i want to give myself at least two years to really lock in with myself really clean up my credit because that's another thing like if i want to move my credit needs to be a one if i want to move next year i need to start putting stuff into play um and that's something that god had to talk to me about put it into my heart like if I genuinely want to move, it's like certain stuff that I'm going to have to like put into play. Um, just getting my credit cleaned up financially, being able to save up, put money to the side, like start getting my house together, like fixing stuff around the house to like, you know, so you can get yourself in a position to move. I'm not saying that I'm just going to up and leave right now because obviously that'd be stupid, especially since I have like a whole child on the way. But I don't know. I just feel like for the next two years, I just really want to lock in. Because by that time, I'll be 27, 28. I'll be like 29 <laughs> in the next two years. I'll be 29 years old. And by the time my 30s, like, by the time my 30s hit, like, I need to be just in a different position in a different state of mind because i feel like by your 30s you need to be like mellowing on like stuff just needs to start lining into place but the only way that can happen is if you use your 20s to set you up for your 30s so that's kind of just where i'm at and i just feel like something in my heart or heart is just telling me like if you move to another state and if you move to another city I can realistically, I just feel like I will thrive a lot better. Even if I decide to go back into like the cosmetology field, like I will thrive a lot better because I do have a plan B. Just in case my plan A don't work, like I got a plan B, but <clears throat> I feel like I will just thrive. It ain't no feel, I know that i can thrive a lot better if i was to go to another state it's just that i didn't i don't know i just got so discouraged just being a cosmetologist because there's no opportunity here for me to be a cosmetologist it's like literally it's nothing here on the aesthetic side and on the cosmetology like it's nothing here so that's just kind of where my mindset is at now it's just like i just have to get real with myself and if i really just want to start making excuse me y'all if i realistically just want to start making like some real just major moves for myself i'm gonna have to sacrifice a year or two to like legitimately get myself out of a financial rut um just like with my credit just saving up like it's just some stuff that i'm gonna have to put into play to be able to make it to that next level because if not if i keep playing it safe and playing it by everybody else's rules and listening to everybody else i'm i don't know i just feel like i'm a it's a part of me that's just always gonna feel like unfulfilled and not satisfied because like i said 
I'm listening to everybody else's opinion. And it's not to say that everybody else's opinions is necessarily wrong. It's just that what I'm starting to realize is, and God had to put it into my mind, just be like, everybody don't have your best interest at heart. And everybody don't know what's right for you. The only person that realistically know what's right for you is God. So, I just have to get it in my mind to, like, block out just, like, outside opinion. Even if they don't mean me wrong and they mean, they mean me the best, it's like, I know, like, God, he know what's best for me. So, that's, I don't know why I just decided to say that. Maybe somebody needed to hear that, like, yeah, y'all, that's just, like, my only, I swear, every single time I think back to, like, buying my house, it's like I'm grateful for my house because the money didn't go to waste. It's just like, have I known what I know now? I should have just went with my first mind, but I don't know. I just got scared. <laughs> but I just feel like I'm more in a mind. I don't know. I feel like I'm more confident now just as an adult, vice versa, when I was like 22, 23. Like, girl, you just out here. Like, you, I don't know. I just insecure don't know anything but i feel like now i'm a little bit more confident in myself and i'm starting to like trust my decision making i don't know i just feel like i'm getting to a point where i'm just starting to trust myself a little bit more and know that god just genuinely got me because my whole time just from my 20s my early 20s all the like since i left my parents house I feel like God just have met me every step of the way. Every step of the way. Every single time I needed something, like, I just feel like he haven't failed me. So, I just feel like, it's just, I don't know. I just feel like it's just time for a lot of stuff in my life to just, like, change. So, yeah. But, y'all, let me, let me get off camera. Like I said, I really wasn't expecting to get back on camera it's just that that's just been weighing on my heart like i said i'm not just solely like oh i just need to up and move like it's not even that i want it to be a smart decision and i want to move on god's time and when god tell me to it's just that yeah i'm just i don't know i'm just starting to think about that again like damn i really don't want to be in mobile <laughs> But I done became so content and just complacent just being here. Like, girl, I just, I don't know. I just don't, I just don't want to be here. Like, I don't know. But anyways, y'all, let me get off camera. Uh, hopefully, y'all enjoyed my little TED Talk for today. I will hopefully see y'all on Sunday when I start getting my, um, my centerpieces together. I may need to call my stepmom or auntie. I don't know. Maybe I can get somebody over here to help me with my centerpieces. But I'll talk to y'all on Sunday once when I start, like, you know, get my centerpieces together. I'll talk to y'all. Fast and you go 